Hello, my name is Sandy Hood. This is a quick uh, video just to look at one question from the SEMA P1 syllabus. This one comes from the, uh, the Pearson View question tutorial. It's question 39 and it's an activity-based budgeting question. And it's to do with putting the stages of an activity-based budgeting system into a chronological order. It comes from the syllabus on uh, section B3, budgeting, discuss budgets based on forecasts, discuss alternative approaches to budgeting. And here, so long as you know your budgeting and your activity-based budgeting sequence, then you can do this well within the 90 seconds that would be on average the time that you would need for each question. So we've got to put the st following stages of an activity-based budgeting system into chronological order. We need to know when each of them is happening and we simply would move the first, second, third and fourth onto the table and then move on to our next question. What do we know? Well, we need to remind ourselves what is the aim of activity-based budgeting. A little reminder, you're probably calling this into your screens as I, as I speak. It's to authorise expenditure only to the activities that are necessary to enable the budgeted production and sales to be achieved. So we will estimate what our sales and production volumes will be. Then we'll identify the activities that are needed in order to achieve those estimates. And we'll look at the cost drivers. And then we'll estimate the resource requirements, compare any differences so that we're able to recognize that if we've got surplus capacity or if we've not got enough capacity and then do something about that so moving on we can then allocate first estimate the production and sales volume second estimate the demand for each of the organizational activities third determine the resources required to perform those activities fourth take action to adjust the capacity requirements to match the project, uh, projected, I mean, the capacity of resources to match the projected supply. I hope you found this useful. Very, very quick. It doesn't need anything extra. You've got plenty of time with an exam if you know your facts to be able to get those marks. If you want to know more about me, uh, you can email me, sandy at sandyhood.com. You can look on my website, which is www.sandyhood.com. In this case, I've given you the SEMA 2017 